मेन डाउट ऑन होमोसेक्शुअलिटी लाइक इज इट प्रोहिबिटेड इन इस्लाम एंड वाई सो बिकॉज लाइक आई हैड लाइक फ्रॉम द पास्ट फाइव इयर्स आई बीन विद सो मेनी होमोसेक्शुअल्स इट्स लाइक आई मीन दे आर फीलिंग्स दैट दे हैव फॉर द फॉर द सेम सेक्स और वट एवर इट इज इट्स सो ट्रू आई मीन इट्स लाइक द सेम काइंड ऑफ पेन वट वी माइट फील फॉर फॉर मे बी आर हजबेंड्स और वो एवर इट इज इफ इट्स रॉन्ग वाई इज इट रॉन्ग द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट डज इस्लाम से अबाउट होमो सेक्शलिटी एंड इफ इट्स रॉन्ग वाई इट इज रॉन्ग अल्लाह से इन द कुरान इन सर इसरा चैप्टर नंबर सेवनटीन वर्स नंबर थर्टी टू दैट कम नॉट क्लोज टू एडल्ट्री फॉर एडल्ट्री देन ईविल ओपनिंग अदर रूट टू ईविल डिसाइड दैट अल्लाह से इन सर आराफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट टेलिंग टू मैन दैट डू यू प्रैक्टिस यूर लस्ट आफ्टर मैन इन प्रेफरेंस टू वुमेन दैट मीन्स homosexuality is prohibited in islam in the quran because almighty god made the human beings allah says in the quran in surah room chapter number 30 verse number 21 that he has put love between the hearts of husband and wife almighty god has made the human being in such a way that they love the opposite sex generally naturally no human being loves the same sex i'm talking about the love which is required in husband and wife not the platonic love which you have between your brothers and between your sisters <laughs> now initially there was a research which said that homosexuality is genetic so during question answer time somebody asked me the way you asking if homosexuality is genetic then how is that human being to blame it came from his parents so why is he to blame like you are saying if someone loves someone else so why should he be blamed i said this is a research this is a hypothesis it's not a fact and later on we came to know that this hypothesis was wrong and the person who propounded this hypothesis he himself was a homosexual so homosexuality is not genetic it comes today science tells us how do homosexuals evolve because what almighty god has given permission for a human being what's permitted you get married do nikah you can have sex with your wife and islam says that while doing having sex with your wife is also worshiping allah hmm. because you are preventing the haram you are not going outside the marital bond to satisfy your urges that's islam today science tells us today research tells us that those people who have multiple life partners outside the marriage bond as compared to those who only have with the spouses they enjoy the sexual life much better than the others and what happens today when you get tired with it you mm-hmm. go to the western countries you have mistresses 5 10 20 no problem you start then doing unnatural things when you start doing unnatural things you don't follow the law of the creator and you try and satisfy your urges in the wrong way the moment you keep on doing the wrong way then you keep on going beyond what is natural and that's how the person becomes homosexual it is not genetic because you go beyond the limits what almighty god has permitted you you try other things you try unnatural things and finally you land up by saying you do no longer enjoy having sex with the opposite sex so you have sex with the same sex so sister because they have broken the law of almighty god and they do unnatural things that's how psychologically they become a homosexual so but naturally if you break the law of almighty god that's totally wrong and that's how it lands up a person being homosexual so they are to blame and islam prohibits homosexuality even christianity prohibits homosexuality most of the religions are against homosexuals it's now the western countries are saying because in democracy whatever majority says you win majority wins in islam 
majority doesn't win, the haq wins. The truth wins. I remember when I had gone to Canada in 1996, the first time I went to give a lecture, in the front page I saw a man kissing a man. A man kissing a man, and it says that they have married each other. Today in Western countries, if I speak against homosexuality, it's a crime. It's a crime. So what we realize that previously, previously, all the countries, homosexuality was a crime. Then some Western countries like Canada gave legal sanction to it. Today, mm -hmm. most of the Western countries, homosexuality is legal. Even India, the country where I come from, they are thinking. They are thinking to make it legal. So what we realize, what is truth is truth. Majority doesn't win. What is wrong is wrong. And in Islam and most of the major religions of the world, homosexuality is a sin. It's a crime. It will not take you to heaven. It will take you to hell. Hope that answers the question, sister. You are Free speech. Gay. Why do you then choose, because it is a choice, why do you then choose to be a Muslim when it says explicitly within Islam, within Judeo-Christian tradition, mm -hmm. that that is prohibited? It's a choice. <laughs> Okay. I would just like to say that sexual orientation is not a choice. It's not a choice at all. It's a choice for you to be Muslim. But why so why would you? Muslim, no, no, no! Don't sir. get involved in this. Why would you choose to be Muslim? Why would you choose to be Muslim? If in the Quran it says that that is prohibited, it's a choice. At the end of the day, you can choose to be a Muslim, or you can choose not to be. It doesn't say in the it's prohibited. What is prohibited? No, it doesn't. Oh, really? Is the act. Is the act. I can give you the ayah that it says I, it is. I am not here to talk about that one what act. What I am here to talk about. Hang on, let, let, let Asif speak, please. please. Let Asif speak. Let him, re let him respond to your question. I am not here to talk about that one act. What I'm here to talk about is love. Love between two men, two women. When and will it be okay and accepted to be gay in Islam? That is not... It's a loaded question, but I'm sorry. You either be gay or you be Muslim. No one is forcing you, you to see, be I Muslim. Think that's, I think that is totally wrong. Yeah, okay. yeah, lady here in the blue. I think that is totally wrong. I mean, I, I was brought up in an Islamic household. I'm from an Islamic community. I'm from a very conservative Pakistani community. If my mum and dad can accept me, why can't the wider community accept me from the wider yeah. This lady in the blue, and then we come to Ms. Um, I personally think that the question you're asking is, when will the Muslim community accept you as a, um, a gay person, accept gay or homosexuality? The thing is, um, homosexuality is not accepted in Islam, so the Muslim community will never accept homosexuality in a whole. But you being gay, on, not on a judgmental level, you can be gay, but then at the same time, if you choose to follow a religion which prohibits um, homosexuality, then you can't turn around and ask, when will they accept for you to be gay? Can I just say that? Yeah. Can I just say, what are people like me meant to do then? You know, gay teenagers, the suicide rate is going up, homophobic crime is going unreported, and it's because of attitudes like this that, that is causing people like me such a dilemma. The danger with literalism is in insisting that there is only one interpretation and one way of doing things. Yeah. If we take that literally, if we take literalism literally, then only 200 years ago, slavery was accepted and justified by religion. <laughs> Let me finish. The Quran explicitly and literally, let me finish and make this point. The Quran literally allows for slavery, as does the Bible, but we no longer practice it because our attitudes and interpretations have changed. There is no one Muslim community, there is no one way of interpreting things. If he wants to identify as being Muslim, as this gentleman here said, Abdullah, he said he's not going to tell him he's not a Muslim, and I applauded him for that. He said he's not going to discriminate against him, you just did. And so even he disagreed. Right. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Wow. God does not exclude anyone. That is a crucial first point. And everyone has the right to define for themselves what their identity is. And we all have identities which quite often are contradictory. We all have to find some way of navigating that, of remaining faithful to our vision of God while also remaining faithful to who we are. But to add to that also, the rest of society, in particular state, should not try to impose its view or its morality upon Islam. This is a conversation that has to happen within Islam. That's and there what's might happening be room, here. There might that's be room, there, and, and that's what it, there might be room for growth 
and change. Ultimately, you decide for yourself. But the idea of saying to someone, you're a sinner, even if you do define them as a sinner, you cannot be part of this religion. That to me mm -hmm. is anti-God, because that's a decision that God makes, not you, not you. With regards to what you said about interpretation, you're pushing the idea that there is no true interpretation of Islam. By that exact logic, you're saying that the people, the extremists, right, are, are their, their interpretation of religion is also valid. There is mainstream Islam. There are things that are universally accepted within Islam. For example, the gentleman brought up the idea of, of, of drinking, of doing drugs, you know. Those things are prohibited within Islam. I can choose not to do them or I can. But for me to go out and say, I'm a Muslim and I drink and that should be accepted, that's not religion. That's yeah, not what you're subscribing to. You're, you're, conflating, you're conflating choice and how somebody is without choice. That First of all, he was born the way he is, and I'm sure he can speak for himself. What I would like to say to you is, many, many Muslims would consider you sinful for not covering your face and would insist that you're sinful hmm. and you can't be a Muslim for showing your face and not wearing the jilbab, the long gown. So at the end no, of the day, that's, that's this is all interpreted. No, 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 and just no, as you've no, got the no, right, in fact, described. they'd also... No, no, please, no. let me, let me respond to you, please. No, because you're going into all no, no, sorts no, of No, 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 I'm talking about now. interpretation. Can I just finish my point? Go ahead, go they ahead. They would also say that you shouldn't be speaking in front of men, you shouldn't be on television. Oh, come there are literalists who argue that, that too. We know that because they're in power. Let's just go back to Abdullah quickly. Everyone, um, Osama bin Laden was asked, right, he was asked, uh, why, why do you go against the Islamic prohibitions of killing women and children? And he says, oh, the law's not set in stone. He has a, he's a modernist. Osama bin Laden is a reinterpretationist, modernist. He doesn't believe, he believes in different interpretations of Islam. You can reinterpret it. I am, it's the same mentality that Majid Nawaz has to reinterpret scripture when it suits him. In Islam, we believe he's, he's in rules, we believe in principles. Okay. You can't just change those things. You can't yeah. just change those things when it okay. suits you. For the video starts guys i've come together with muslim aid once again to get clean water for families in gaza 105 pounds can provide interrupted water to two families for an entire year give even if it's one pound towards it there is because you're putting a limit but when it comes to lgbqt and there's plus there's many other things there's it's, it's open but when and also for example pedophilia there are some men who are coming out and saying that they why, why can't they join your group and add a p at the end you make We're talking about gender rather than age. We're not necessarily talking about people. We're making no statement. We're not, we're because not saying anything hurt about other people. But they say we're, we're born like that. Yeah, but we're not. That's the argument. Not me. That's what they say. About people who aren't born like most people would think, like as in a straight. Like we're not just talking about that kind of thing. We're talking about people who are. Uh, being discriminated for the gender they love, not necessarily the age, okay. the gender. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm with well, you. If a murderer says they want to kill someone else and they're just like that, you're not going to let them kill someone else. You're going to do everything you can to stop them from hurting someone else. Same with pedophiles. If someone says, oh, I was just born like that and they want to hurt someone, you need to stop them from hurting someone. LGBTQ people aren't hurting anyone. In fact, okay. we're the ones being hurt by other people. Okay, no, I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is this, this can be argued, for example, hurting. What does hurting mean? Yeah, and hurting someone physically um, or having a harm in a society as a whole. The ripple effects of that, that's something that needs to be discussed. Because if one says, argument sake, when I drink alcohol, I don't hurt anybody. But you're the same person when you drink alcohol, you go crash into a car with uh, kids in there and you kill. So like in Islam, as Muslims, uh, Islam is prevention better than, rather than cure. So meaning, if alcohol, if one person says, I want my right to drink alcohol, Islam says, no, if you're going to have a impact, a negative impact on the community, you can't do that because the community at large has a greater right. But what I was asking you guys, look, I'm, I'm not trying to like, attack you guys, I'm, just, I'm curious, yeah? But when I say inconsistency, I have to. You can do the same with me. When you draw a line with the paedophiles, when you draw a line with incest, I'm asking the question. For example, the paedophile movement, actually bestiality even, yeah? They, they, they want to join your group. They even like, you know, there's, there's some discussion where they're like, why can't? And the LGBT group are denying that. They're saying, no, you can't. But they're saying, we're born this way. Why is it that when you're born a gay, homosexual, bisexual, a transsexual, uh, whatever it may, transgender, whatever you're born, you have a right. But as a paedophile, when I have some kind of um, liking to a child, and even some of them say, even if we don't act on it, I have that. Accept me as I am, you reject them. Because they're hurting people. They, we are not. Incest? That's the main difference. No, no, but incest. A father and a daughter that's reached the age of 16, they use contraceptive. Yeah, but the, that, as we said, that father is in a position of power over the daughter. Like, do you respect your father? Okay, what, what, what age does the child need to reach so they're not in a position of power? Because, because... 
the, there is the, no age that the they reach because the parents always, in a always position of power. yeah. But that could be with anyone. That could be with some two uh, gay couples, and one is yeah. more manipulative. Yeah. If someone has a position that's of power not, over the other person but, 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 in, in gay couples, if one of them is yeah. abusive, then that's wrong too. But it's I know, the same but it's wrong to be abusive. But, 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 but if a woman comes and says, "I'm 16 years old." My, my father is not manipulative and I ha choose the right to have sexual intimacy with him. How could you come and say, no, he's your father, he must be manipulative, you're overgeneralizing. How is that fair on them and their love? Manipulative. We're not saying he's necessarily 100% manipulative. Okay, right. We're saying that that person is in a position of power over the daughter, correct? Do you, do you like acknowledge that? that person well, they, they, they are until that person reaches the age of puberty, 16, because they have, they, they, have, they, they have a lot of rights. You know, they can call the feds in two seconds. Okay, can I ask, why, how is this relevant to... Because what it is, is what we're just trying to do is like, what I'm trying to find out is because I feel like there's an inconsistency with the LGBTQT community. Um, and this is where, um, where I'm saying, well, there's a contradiction. That's what I'm trying to highlight. And I'm trying to tell me if I'm wrong. So that's why I was trying to have a dialogue with you guys, because it seems a contradiction to, to your very stance. Okay, okay. Let me ask you the opposite question. Why do you draw the straight line yeah. at men and women being in relationships yeah. and not at all people of any genders being in relationships? Okay. What, where where as, do you as, draw the okay. line is, where, is what I'm asking. Okay, with us, we come from an objective morality where we believe God Almighty has created us and we live in his land and he provides us the sustenance and what he says we try our best to follow um, now obviously like as Muslims in this country we abide by the law of the land yeah um, so you guys can like I'm not here to stop you doing what you're doing no, no. but what we're trying to say is for example for, from our point of view it's for example we believe that God Almighty has um, forbidden it it's not permissible yeah and not only that for example there there are many issues as well for example it's unnatural I believe it's unnatural even though you can say okay it's an animal kingdom but I can I can say that's animals but what I'm saying is unnatural for a man for example uh, to penetrate another man's uh, rectum you know and, and 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 that's from our point of view awesome. but but I'm not I'm not I'm not saying you guys don't have to sorry we didn't consent to being filmed so oh, they, if you're broadcasting they, they, us they, 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 they do like it. They, could you please take that down yeah whoever's recording Okay, they, they, they consent to being filmed you, at all. Yeah, you, you know, you, okay, all right, guys, whoever's recording this, they don't, they don't want to be in here, yeah, because the, uh, the speaker's gonna you get 10 cameras, I, I, I can't control them, yeah, okay, so, so, so we, you can leave. I just want to make one more yeah, question, okay, right. one question. So, our position, right, I'm just gonna sum up in one, in one, right, okay, so you say that God said that it's not okay, and that's fine, like, I completely respect your opinion. From our perspective, it's okay for any adult consenting person who does not have a parental or like familial relationship with someone else. It, it's okay for them to have a, a relationship. Does the LGBT uh, society stand with the words you said, or is this coming from you? The, the, the whole parental, the, the, the whole parent, the whole parental thing of being manipulative. That's the first time I've heard that. Most people within the LGBTQ community do not endorse in there, incest. Oh yeah, no, they don't. But for example, don't. is it because the whole manipulative thing? Because that's the first time I've heard that. Well, it's partially because of that. It's also partially because of genetic. It's for a lot of different reasons. And I obviously haven't, I haven't prepared for this. We're just here for that. We haven't prepared for this. I couldn't tell you every argument. Okay. But we don't endorse incest. And all we're saying is that anyone who's over a legal age of consent should be allowed to have a relationship with anyone else. And that's okay. fine. You're a really nice guy. Thank okay, you. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry again if it, I was just yes. inquiring. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourself. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. That's a nice dialogue here, discussion. Uh, just ask some questions. Uh, I think it was quite informative. Uh, yeah, uh, goodbye. Who is this?